15-second moment of silence honored before tonight's game as we are all united against racism. Carl Haworth injured against Pittsburgh. He'll miss his second consecutive match. Perhaps we see those guys on Saturday. What a ball against Sporting Kansas City, too. Nick Moon gets his first in the 11 goal. The service sublime from Macaulay King. Three minutes in, the Indy 11 have a one goal lead. Moon had a pair of assists to the season opener against Memphis. And King, who is getting minutes because of the absence of Carl Haworth, is showing that form that had him being one of the assist leaders for the Indy 11 a season ago. Ten remaining regular season games, seven to be played here. Three to be played on the road. And this blast, Nick hit up to the challenge. Johnson trying to line it up, left foot off target. Great ball. This is Schwartz. With options to choose from. And that one gets wow. through for a goal. Osmond didn't get to it. Newton thought he would. We're all leveled up less than a minute into half number two. It's Dixon that gets the goal. Screened enough that Evan Newton can't react to it. Taking a look here on the replay. And absolutely. Moon with space to operate. Good looking ball here. Plays Pasher. And Pasher trying to set that left foot up, couldn't do it. Great Moon touch. The window, but spilled somebody's snacks and or beverage. Opportunity about it. on target, Pasher! The leading scorer in the USL has done it again. Number six for Tyler Pasher. His 20th in the 11 goal. Now in sole possession of second place in terms of goals scored in club history. Pasher has all the angles covered. And again, the unfortunate bounce for Hartford off of Swartz. Head to the top floor is Tyler Pasher. Six goals oh in six matches. Good steal. Love the way the 11 are moving the ball right now. Overlapping run, King plays a great cross. Here's the thing with Ilya Illich. He has got two incredible ideas in his head before the ball is even moving towards him. Yeah, I think they'd prefer you not say anything. Oh, Flick what a forward. ball. Pasher, can he get there first? Yep, but misses. Oh, my goodness. Was looking for his second brace of the season. Back line, you got tons of space to put it out. Oh, my goodness. Mondanda did just enough. If he did, he did. In the Indy 11, trying to secure a 28th consecutive Match unbeaten at home. Can Connor put it away? Yes, sir. Hey! Drew Connor, his first goal since last August. A hot skip and a jump to three more points for the boys in blue. August against the Charlotte Independents. Snuck by McGlynn. Nods it down and buries it past Mondanda. And far from over yet. Last two times out, Hartford scored three times. But a little more cushion for the Indy 11. Won their first three matches against Red Bulls 2, Union 2, and Loudoun United. Off to the races goes Watson. Watson streaming forward. Matt How about Watson! it? Give it to him! <laughs> what a clever ball. His first goal since last August in North Carolina. The captain's got one, and the Indy 11 are going to get all three points tonight. What a ball over the top, but then Maddie Watson finding the legs to go get it, and then the clever little touch. His 15th year as a professional soccer player. Spent one year playing college soccer at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. His entire career has been spent in North America. Spent some time with Martin Running in Major League Soccer with the Vancouver Whitecaps. And he has found a home here in Indianapolis. Looking for Cam Lindley. Two guys that faced each other in college soccer in the not-too-distant past. That's it, and that's all. No further action is required.